YouTube, what's going on? YC Imaging here with another tutorial, and today we're going to be going over color grading, specifically using the color match option in Adobe SpeedGrade to uh, copy the color from an image that you may like and use that exact same color onto your footage, basically instantly. So, um, first things first, we are in Adobe SpeedGrade right now. We're just going to start a new project. If you have uh, the Creative Cloud suite, um, then you would know that the uh, the link through Adobe Premiere does not work anymore. So basically what I like to do is I like to uh, just come into speed grade sometimes and create a color and just export that as a LUT. And you know what I'm saying? Just put that LUT onto your footage in Premiere because as I said, the link does not work anymore. So uh, let's just name this uh, color match, color match tutorial. All right, so we have a project here. And over here, you can see all your places, like your desktop um, and all of the folders, your hard drives, whatever. So you're just going to find a clip that you want to use to um, put the color on. And you just drag that straight into the timeline like that. You can click on the color tab up top right here to get to seeing that actual clip. So let's just scroll through and find a portion or a screenshot of it that we actually like. Right there is fine. Um, we'll push the look tab right here to get to our colors. And first things first. Um, let's go find an image that we like. So I'm here, I'm on Google and I search movie color palette. If you didn't know, you can go search movie color palettes to see how um, color grading basically works. You can see like all the colors in the actual image. Um, so I'm here, let's just find an image that will potentially probably work well with what we're doing. This won't work all the time, but if you find some scenarios that are similar to your own in terms of location and lighting and stuff like that, it should fairly work a lot of the time. So let's just choose this one right here. Um, if you have the Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Suite and you have Photoshop, this is gonna this is how you're gonna want to do it because you have to use you have to put these images in a certain format for them to actually work in a screenshot feature of uh, Speed Gray. So I'm gonna use Photoshop. If you have Photoshop, you can use this as well. I'm just gonna drag this straight to Photoshop, and I'm gonna crop out the bottom portion, which uh, shows the palettes, the color palettes. Crop that out, cool. And then we'll go up to file and save as. And let's just name this color match, color match image. And the format that this has to be in, it has to be in a Targa file for it to work. So you go down and you make sure you change the format to Targa. It's gonna make it a TGA file, dot .tga file. Let's just save that to the desktop. And uh, 24 bits is fine. All right, so we got our image. We'll go back to speed grade. Um, and you'll see the snapshots uh, tab right here. You click on that and then you'll find the actual image that you just saved. I already have a bunch of images saved in that I love the color of um, that I just pre-picked for this actual tutorial. So I'm just gonna go through and find uh, one that's similar to this. Let's just choose the one that we actually did. So if you click on this, um, you'll see that your image pops up right next to your footage. And if you didn't see that, you can just click one of these buttons right here and it'll put it right beside it. So uh, the button that you actually hit to do the color matches right here, if you hit color match, it's basically gonna take the color from this image and put it straight onto your footage for the most part. All right, so we hit that. As you can see, it's not exactly how it is, um, but it's pretty close. Um, it's just kind of sort of um, saturated. So you can see over here where your layers are, you have your primary and you have your auto, your auto color match layer right here, which is basically uh, the color match. You can click the eye off if you want to take that off, but we'll go into the primary and we'll adjust that. We can drop down the saturation to get this closer to how it needs to be. So let's just drop that down so it's not as saturated. And cool, that looks great as well. So I'm going to undo this just to show you all how this will possibly work on another um, image as well. So if you go down and you choose another image and you do color match again, it's not going to double up on this layer. It's just going to adjust this layer to the new color match. So um, I have this image right here that I actually got from another movie. And I'll hit color match to see how this matches up with the clip. As you can see, it's pretty close. It looks, it looks pretty good. Um, it might be too saturated. As I said, you might have to go through and do some basic color correction with this. Um, I will probably go to the overall and... Um, up my midtones just a little bit and I will also up my highlights to get the highlights really blooming and probably drop down the saturation as well as I said this is not perfect but it gets you pretty close fairly close um, as you can see those colors look a lot like the image 
And it's really gonna work best when you choose scenarios that are the same. As you can see, that have that they have that huge flare coming in right here on this image, which I don't really have in mind. But in terms of just the colors, those colors are, are, are pretty much that. So let's go through and try to find another image that will probably work well. Um, let's try to do this one right here. That looks pretty close, that looks pretty good. I have those blues in there, so you can see right there. There's not too many blues in there, but in terms of the saturation being low and stuff like that, it looks like a good image. I just have to go through and do some uh, quick color correction to get that right. So this does not get you there all the way, but in terms of just color grading, yes, this will get your colors there. You still have to go through and do simple color correction. This is not gonna do the color correction for you, it's just gonna do the color grading. So. Um, that's just a quick tutorial on how to run through and do that. And if you want to actually export this color into a LUT, let me show you all how to do that real quick. So you see right here, this little button, if you click this up, you can see all of the other uh, color, uh, all of the other LUTs that I've created um, through speed grade. And a lot of them don't work because they're in different scenarios. But if you want to save your look into a LUT, you just hit this button right here, which is save look. and nothing happened. Oh yeah, it is right here, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, your look actually goes right here next to your other images and if you wanna export that, you can just right click on it and do export look and then you have all these options right here and all oh, this is fine, you just hit export and basically it's just gonna save it. It's just gonna ask you to name the look that you want and it's just gonna save it into um, a zip file with the image and all that other stuff like that. That's gonna conclude my tutorial on how to use the color match option in Adobe Speed Grade to copy the color from an image and actually implement that into your footage. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to leave me a like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm going to check y'all out on my next video. Peace.